All right, let's talk about zipping and unzipping files. Um, you may get an icon like this and wonder what the heck to do with it. Um, so I'm gonna show you why you'd wanna unzip it and then also how to zip files yourself. So first of all, a zipped file is nothing more than basically a collection of files and folders that are compressed into one thing that you can send to somebody. Okay, so like um, I could email this without emailing like 10 different folders. If I want to see what's in this, I would have to right click and go to extract. Now, you may not have this uh, WinRAR, and if you don't, here is a website, and I'll link this um, in the bottom, but WinRAR.com, it looks like a sketchy site, but I feel like it is safe and you can download WinRAR and then you're, you'll be able to open .rar files. Okay, now there's also .zip files, which are gonna be the same, and I think that you can natively just download uh, zip files, but if it comes as this .rar, you may have to download um, something. And it's free to download if you're gonna use it a lot, um, you can buy it, and it still, it still works either way. But um, once you have it installed on your computer, then you can just right click and then you can open it with WinRAR. But what I recommend is actually going down to this, this one here where it says Extract 2. And what that does is when there's a slash, it's going to create a folder called whatever it's called. So you can see this is called Class Resources. So if I click on this, now oh, it's, it says I already have one because I was uh, setting this up. I'm just going to go ahead and delete um, the class resources that I had on there. Okay, now if I right click and go to extract to class resources, now it's going to basically unpackage this and you can see that this is what it created. And these are the um, files that are inside of that. So once again, instead of emailing all these individually, um, it makes sense to zip that up and now I could email this to somebody or I could um, you know just transfer one file instead of all these individual ones. Now let's say if I wanted to package this back up and make my own kind of zipped file. Okay once again as long as I have WinRAR installed on my computer um, I could do this. I can right click on it and I can say if I say add to um, add to and then this, it's going to automatically name it for me. But if I click on add to archive, now I can choose what I want to name it. So I could call it, uh, let's say, Dave's Files. Then I can choose, do I want it to be a RAR, a RAR4, or a zip? I feel like most people can just download zip kind of natively on their computer. So I'll choose zip. I feel like kind of the difference between these is that RAR, it seems like is a better compressed file and it's usually a smaller file size, but zip is more kind of universal. People don't have to download WinRAR. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it at zip and click OK. And now I can see that it's zipping it and here's the result of that zipped file. So once again, if I wanted to open it, I could go here to extract to Dave's file and it's going to create a folder. Um, if I want to, once again, if I have a bunch of folders of stuff, I can right click and I can add archive. That way I can just name it something else and then change it to zip or rar, choose what I want. If you want to leave it the name and just um, compress it automatically, just go to add to that and then it'll automatically name it and also keep it at the rar format. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, once again, let me know if there's any questions. Um, just put them in the link below.